It starts with S, and it's a dirty word in Hampton Roads. Sequestration. It's the one thing that Republicans and Democrats from the Virginia delegation are all working together to stop. This is a copy of a letter expressing support of an 11 aircraft carrier fleet. Both of our senators and all 11 of our representatives signed this letter to Secretary of Defense Chuck Hagel. They want to make sure President Obama does not cut carrier funding in his 2016 budget proposal. Ted on your side sat down with Congressman Scott Rigel this week. He voiced concern that the president did not address sequestration at all in his State of the Union. It's going to be difficult to advance a solution to sequestration if the commander in chief himself is not advocating for and fighting for that. In his State of the State speech earlier this month, Governor Terry McAuliffe pointed to the damage sequestration has done in the Commonwealth since 2012, reducing military contracts by $9.8 billion and what it could still do. If Congress does not act by October 1st, we could be looking at around another $50 billion in additional cuts nationwide. That's just over eight months to get the job done. Now the challenge is in finding the language, the specific proposals. That's very, very difficult. But Rigel says the entire Virginia delegation is fully committed to finding a better alternative. The online news service Nova reported today that Senator Tim Kaine is optimistic. Congress will pass a budget this year that reduces the effects of sequestration. Kaine, who sits on the Senate Budget Committee, spoke to a group of business leaders in Prince William County this morning.